Hello, let's have a look at another application of uh, the bug compile theorem. So we're going to assume this airfoil of length LC and tilted at an angle A that is placed in flow of velocity V at a fluid with density rho, viscosity mu and speed of sound C. So step one is to list the parameters of this problem and count them. So we just listed them and let's count them. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So n is seven. Step two is to list the primary dimensions of each of the n parameters. So the force of lift has dimensions of mass length over time square velocity length over time, the length of the airfoil has dimensions of length, the density of the fluid dimensions of mass over area or length cube, the viscosity mass over length time, the speed of sound length over time, and the angle A is considered dimensionless. So Step three is uh, to set the reduction J as the number of primary dimensions. So the number of primary dimensions are mass, length, and time. There is no other primary dimension in this group. So J is three. K is N minus J, N is seven and j is 3, so k will be 4. So according to the Bankham pi theorem, we should have 4 pi's. Step 4 is to choose the j repeating parameters. So j is 3, and out of this group of parameters, we need to choose 3 as the repeating parameters. This is the hardest step of the method of repeating variables and it needs a lot of trial and error. In this case, we'll take velocity, the length of the foil and the density of the fluid as the repeating parameters. For step 5, we need to construct the k number of pi's and manipulate them as necessary. So, we we'll start with pi 1 and we'll take the force of lift multiplied by the three repeating parameters V, L, C and rho and each of them will be to the power of A, B and C respectively. The units of force are mass length over time square, the units of velocity length over time, the power of A, the units of length, length, the power of B and the density will be mass over length to the cube and this to the power of c. Pi 1 needs to be dimensionless which means that for every of the fundamental units appearing in pi 1 the exponent must be 0. So starting with the mass have one mass here so mass to the power of 1 and another mass here to the power of c. So 0 must equal 1 and c, or c must be minus 1. Likewise, for the length, length to the power of 1, 1, length to the power of a, plus a, plus b, minus 3c, must equal 0. And for the time units, 0 must equal minus 2, minus a. So a is minus 2, substituting c and a on this equation we get that b is minus 2. Now we can construct pi 1 as pi 1 is the force of lift times velocity to the power of a, a is minus 2. So we bring velocity on the denominator the power of 2. Times length to the power of b, b is minus 2 so we have length to the power of 2 on the denominator and for density, the exponent is minus 1, so density comes again on the denominator. 
Now we can manipulate pi 1 to this pi 1 prime as force of lift over half rho velocity square over a, which is also known as the lift coefficient, Cl. In exactly the same way, we are going to construct pi 2. So this time we are going to choose the viscosity and pi 2 will be the viscosity times the velocity to the power of a, the length to the power of b and the density to the power of c. Uh, keep in mind now the viscosity units are mass over length time. So solving exactly in the same way for a, b and c we get that c is minus 1, l is now minus 1 at this part okay and time will be minus 1 minus a so a will be minus 1 substituting to this equation we get b is minus 1 substituting a b and c in pi 2 we get that pi 2 is viscosity over rho vlc we can manipulate this pi and inverse it and we'll get that pi 2 prime is rho va over mu which is also known as the Reynolds number. Now constructing pi 3 we're going to use uh, the speed of sound c multiplied by the repeating variables again the same exponents the only difference now is that uh, the speed of sound units are length over time so balancing the mass for this equation we have 0 equals c so c is 0 uh, then for the length we have 1 plus a plus b minus 3c we already know that c is 0 so we can ignore this term and now moving to the time 0 must equal minus 1 minus a so a is minus a substituting minus a here we are left with b equal 0 now substituting a b and c on this uh, equation we get that pi 3 equals c the speed of sound times v to the minus 1 and for the length and density the exponents are uh, 0. Uh, pi 3 speed of sound over v can be manipulated as p3 prime velocity over speed of sound also known as the Mach number. Constructing the final pi, we will follow exactly the same process, but this time we will use the angle A. So pi 4 will be A times the three repeating variables. We said that A has no dimensions, so 1, and balancing A, B, and C. Uh, we get we start for the mass we get that c will be zero then moving to the length a and b minus 3c will be zero and for the time t to the a or a will be zero substituting c and a into this equation we get that b is zero so pi 4 will be a times b to the power of 0, l c to the power of 0, rho c to the power of 0. So our p4 is the angle. Summarizing, the four pi's we constructed was the lift coefficient, the Reynolds number, the Mach number, and the angle. So we can rewrite as CL is a function of the Reynolds number, 
number and the angle A.